The St. Francis Community Hospital joined the Catholic faithful across the world to celebrate the feast of St. Francis of Assisi, who lived a selfless life helping the vulnerable in the society. The hospital during the celebrations unveiled a new 25 million shillings worth oxygen plant that will service the hospital's high oxygen needs. It used to be very distressful if you have to save patients' life and the one of the very critical things to save patients' life is oxygen and you don't have it because we used to buy it very far from the city. So if you have a supply that did not take you to that level, then you feel very desperate at that moment. The acquisition of a critical care ambulance will see ICU patients being transferred from and into the hospital receive uninterrupted care. <laughs> ambulance, a critical care ambulance that will be helping us to get our patients safe throughout as we either take them referral ins and referral outs and referrals out. Uh, it's like an ICU. The time you get there, the doctors are there, the, the ambulance is equipped with everything that you need for critical care, just to save life at any cost. The hospital, which has grown from a healthcare desk offering first aid services in 1993, to a teaching and referral hospital, seeks to open a palliative care and cancer center to offer affordable services to the underprivileged. We are also interested in starting uh, palliative care services in the hospital and uh, cancer services because so far we had not get, gotten to that level. But the needs of the patients we see around, we are seeing a high demand and higher need to start those services. We want to give even that which cannot be helped by medicine, there will be a lot of love and spiritual care toward these very critical ill patients. Betty Kiptum, Channel 1 News. Oh, 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 oh,